Are you Kira? No. If you were Kira, that'd make you gay. This must be some kind of trap. How will you respond, Light? That's an interesting theory. Please tell me more. You're going to have to try harder than that, L. Theory? You think being homosexual is a theory? I'm surprised someone like you would say that. Damn it, how could I be so stupid? He's assassinating my character. At this rate, it'd be better if I just told him I was Kira. A murderer or a homophobe? Which will you choose, Light? I didn't mean to cause offense. I'm afraid I don't know much about gay culture. Is that so? Me and Light are in love! Exactly. I'm just an ignorant heterosexual. Then why do you show no interest in her, Light? We're saving ourselves for marriage! Damn it! Marriage, eh? Did you know that same-sex marriage was legalized in the USA on June 26, 2015? So? Misa, you fool! June is the sixth month, halfway through the year. As you know, half of 26 is 13. Don't you see what you've done? Loki was the 13th to arrive at the feast in Valhalla, according to Norse mythology. You've given an L irrefutable proof. Did you know Norway was ranked the world's happiest country in the 2017 World Happiness Report? That's so cool! That I am. And do you know what another word for happy is, Misa? I don't. Gay! gay. Listen, L, Misa doesn't really know what she's saying. You are gay, Light. Kira is gay, and you are gay. Therefore, you are Kira. Is that true, Light? No, that's not. Are you really gay? The thrust of my argument was that you are Kira. Would a gay person do this? <gasps> are you just going to lie there like a little girl? Did you just assume my gender? Damn it! I'll I'll have to add sexism to your list of crimes. I just got caught up in the heat of the moment. Like when you assassinated my stand-in. If you can hear me, Kira, then you are gay and poor and smelly. I'm only two of those things. Your dad's loaded. Bury me in this suit! That was Kira. Talk to the foot. Mr. Foot, please be nice. I'm much stronger than I look. You eat nothing but candy, sit in weird positions, and you're skinny as fuck. I watched Jackie Chan's Karate Kid. I prefer the original Mr. Miyagi. So now you're a racist. Would a racist do this? Is that moisturizer on your hand? What? Your skin smells like lavender. Good evening. If Light's gay, then can I ask Misa out? What do you think, Misa? Ew! It's not a no. Let's put this unpleasantness behind us, Light. Of course. You punch pretty hard, you know? Do you lift? Only when writing names in my death note. I mean, boys, we got him. That about, kick Light? must have given me brain me damage. I'm back in the Light? game. I'm surprised you played tennis. I was the British junior champion. L, you fool. How could you be so stupid? The junior champions will be documented online. All I have to do is look up their names after this match and then... But nothing in that story will reveal my sexuality. His sexuality? This must be another test. If I ask him what he meant, then he might think I'm gay. But I can't just ignore the comment either. Damn it. You've been silent for several seconds, Light. I was just thinking about how great this match will be. Hearing that you're a former champion has got me excited. He didn't even comment about my sexuality. You're hiding something, Light. Could you be... I shouldn't have ignored his sexuality comment. Does he think that I'm gay? Yeah. Do sweaty men often get you excited? What? GG, bitch. A scrub says what? What? Got him. Is he going to think that I'm Kira if I go for the win? If I throw the match to avoid suspicion, would that be too obvious? My sleeves have gotten significantly shorter. Could this be the work of Kira? I can beat him if I hold my racket with two hands. Then would he suspect me of being gay? Even though he looks ridiculous, he's going for the win. My random number generator now says there's a 7% chance of light being Kira. This gay kid's good at hitting balls. Which one? The skinny one with the silly hair. Which one? I wonder what they're thinking about. At this level, it's ultra instinct. There's probably not a single thought going through their heads. If Light was Kira, then could he map the results of this tennis match onto the fabric of reality? I lost the first game, just like how I lost when I killed the fake L on TV. If Shinigami exist, can they reverse diabetes? I wonder if I'd be better at tennis if I had Ryuk's wings. If I were making a murder mystery anime, how could I make a tennis scene visually interesting? Why am I playing tennis in the depths of the abyss? Could someone shine a light in here? Wait, I don't need a light. I am light. I am light. Why I am is he light. screaming his I name? Name. Light. Why does he look Kira. like that? I am light. My blood sugar must be critically low. Skadoosh! Are you a panda? I think he's hallucinating. Please feed me candy. That was a great game. Thanks for stealing candy from that baby and inserting it into my mouth. It was my pleasure. Stealing from babies was his pleasure. Inserting candy into his mouth was my pleasure? He must be. He must think I'm gay! Yeah. The death note is amazing, Ryuk. I know, right? I can't believe it kills people just by writing their name. Clues in the name, bud. If you don't mind, I do have some questions, though. Ask away. Are you 
you pro-life or pro-choice? What? The death note will not affect those under 780 days, right? Well, yeah. So what would happen if I wrote the name of a pregnant woman into the death note? That's pretty messed up, Light. She would die, wouldn't she? I mean, the very first rule of the death note says so. But then what would happen to the baby? Would it share the same fate? I suppose it would. But what about the multi-death rule, Ryuk? If I write someone's name in the death note, only that person can die. Multiple deaths aren't allowed. But if I kill a pregnant woman, then the baby won't make it. You know, people don't usually ask me this many. Which leads me back to my original question, Ryuk. They're usually just happy to get a magic. Are you pro-life or pro-choice? I have no idea what those words mean. Does the unborn baby count as a person? I ain't touching that with a ten-foot pole. Fine, let's move on. Have you heard of transgender people, Ryuk? Why do I have a feeling we're getting demonetized? There's someone whose gender identity differs from the sex they were born with. I understood some of those words. As part of the gender transition, many change their names. So I ask you, Ryuk, if I wanted to kill such a person, which name should I write? Are you neurodivergent? Which name, Ryuk? Their birth name or their new legal name? Well, Light, back in 2006, we didn't really think about this kind of stuff, so I refuse to answer without my lawyer. Whatever, I still have another question. If I write someone's name using multiple pages, will they die? Oh, I know that one. The answer is no. So as long as the name is written using one page, then they'll die? Yes. Does the font size matter? No. What about the legible letters rule? Uh, then yes. Does the color of ink matter? No. What if I use white ink? Is that legible letters? Well, you can't read it, so I don't. But the ink is actually there on the paper. Well, in that case, I guess it's... Who decides what's legible anyway? Well, the Shinigami King is the guy who's... If I take massive spaces between the letters, does that count as legible? Why would you even... What does legible even look like? You want to know what legible looks like? Here's what legible fucking looks like. Ryuk, what do you see? Here's your name in nice legible font. I'm dying, Ryuk. Never work with children or animals. That's what they told me. I still have questions. It's a death note light. You write someone's name, they die. That's it. There are nuances. Well, you don't have to worry about that since you're going to purgatory. Why is that the last rule? Because fuck you, that's why. Officer Jenny, are Pokemon evil? Oh, Ash, there's no such thing as bad Pokemon. There are only bad trainers. What about Hypno? Why, that includes Hypno too, of course. Then why did Hypno kill Misty? Could you repeat that? I tried to save her, Officer Jenny. I swear I did. That's right, Ash. You stopped Drowsy dead in his tracks. I pulled that rope around Drowsy's chest real tight. But Hypno was too tough, Officer Jenny. What are you saying? Maybe my Pokedex can explain things better. Hypno, the child snatcher Pokemon. Children vanish in the night. Lured by Hypno's sweet whispers. When dawn breaks, only hollow husks remain. A haunting reminder of Hypno's feast. It eats children. You're taking the entry too literally, Officer Jenny. It only eats their essence, their spirit, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, Hypno didn't actually kill Misty's body. That was left to her sisters. Her sisters? She had to be euthanized, Officer Jenny. There was nothing left of her, and the hospital was too expensive. I can't wait till I become a Pokemon master, so I can afford to not euthanize my friends. One step at a time there, Ash. We still have six more gym badges to get. Pika Pika! I need to tell the Indigo League about this. We can't let the gym challenges continue, not with this monster on the loose. Do evil Pokemon go to prison, Officer Jenny? Prison? Hypno needs to be neutralized. Like with a Pokeball? Like with my firearm. Tough and beautiful. I'm in love. Do bad Pokemon go to hell, Officer Jenny? Allow me to answer that. Pikachu! What's that? That's Arceus, the heavenly fount from which all life pours. Yes, my children. Sinful Pokemon burn in the eternal hellfire. Well, that's a relief, isn't it, Brock? You're goddamn right, Ash. That bastard Hypno will suffer for all eternity. Nah, Hypno's cool. Pikachu? Don't you talk back to me, you little shit. Me? Screw you, pal. Pika! What happened? Pikachu said that Arceus cursed you for questioning his divine wisdom. Wow, Officer Jenny. It's a good thing you have lots of genetically identical cousins, because you're going to die. Die? I guess God can be cruel. Right, Brock? Just like Hypno. Right, Ash? Ha 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 ha! And so ends another day in the wonderful world of Pokemon. Prepare for trouble. And make it double. Team Rocket! That's right, Twerp. And today, we're nabbing that Pikachu. Pick up me. I don't think so. Go, Arbok. Victory Bell, I choose you. Oh my gosh, James! It's eating him! Come on, save me! Rock, do you think we should help him? Over James's dead body, Ash. Please, forgive me! Wow, James, if you want forgiveness, maybe you should seek religion. He's starting to dissolve! Do something, Arbok! What's wrong with Arbok? I think it's traumatized. Can't you just use Thunderbolt like you always do? Gee, Jesse, didn't you know? Grass resists electric. Sounds like somebody needs to go back to the Pokemon Academy. If they ever went to begin with... Vika Vika! It seems that Victory Bell's acid is corroding James's lungs from the inside. Yeah. yeah, Pikachu, I'm also hungry. I can't pull his legs out. That Victory Bell really wants a bed. 
I'm not sure what he's saying anymore. His savage tongue never had anything useful to say anyway. How are we gonna explain this to the boss? Am I gonna get put down? <sighs> Looks like Victory Bell's getting tired. James has been quiet for a while. Is he also tired? Oh, Ash, don't be silly. Dead people don't get tired. This is all your fault, James. Why couldn't you just use Weezing? The last time he used that, we needed chemo. So does this mean Victory Bell has no owner? Do you know what that means, Ash? You bet I do, Brock. Pokeball, go! I am Lieutenant Surge, the electric gym leader. You've got guts to challenge me, kid. Electric? I have the perfect Pokemon for you then, Surge. Go, Victory Bell! What the hell is that? What is that? Are you ready, Victory Bell? Just, just take the gym badge and leave. Wow, even gym leaders are scared of you, Victory Bell. You're so strong. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, forgive me. What a touching family reunion. Kaiba, what did you do? Your grandfather and I had a little duel. Why is he lying on the ground? Perhaps the excitement was too much for him. He punched me, Yugi. Kaiba, you monster! I'm not a monster, but this is. My blue eyes! Give my grandpa back his card, Kaiba. No, I don't think I will. For you see, this blue eyes white dragon will never be used against me. No, my card! You'll pay for this, Kaiba. But that's not all, Yugi. This blue eyes white dragon will never be used against me either. Hey, wasn't that Kaiba's card? And guess what, Yugi? This blue eyes white dragon will never be used against me either. Kaiba, are, are, are you okay? But there's more, Yugi. This blue eyes white dragon. For the love of God, stop! Will never be used against me either. Kaiba, why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious, Yugi? Blue Eyes is one of the most powerful monster cards, and now none of them can be used against me. But you owned all of them. Why destroy them if they were yours? Because now they can't be used against me. Assaulting an elderly man is starting to make sense. Avenge me, Yugi! Grandpa, I think he's mentally ill. He needs to suffer! The old man's right. Are you afraid? I'm taking my grandpa to the hospital. I've planted explosives, Yugi. What? They're everywhere. On the floors, in the walls. Are you insane? I lost count, Yugi. There are many. Too many. Why? You can't leave, Yugi. No one can leave. Not anymore. Why are you doing this? The cards, Yugi. They talk to me. Shut them off, Kaiba. I can't stop them, Yugi. Shut them off. Somebody shoot the bastard. I sold my brother for monster cards, Yugi. I don't want to die. I want to fly in a blue eyes shaped jet. Kaiba, what the hell are you talking my about? My sister's eye surgery, Yugi. Invisible guns. The invisible guns are out to get me. I'm warning you, Kaiba. Uh, I'm going to build a space elevator to send myself to the past so that I can play a children's card game. Mind crush! <laughs> Well done, Yugi. He left you no choice. Hey, Yugi, now that you've committed murder and are going to jail, can I have your deck? What are you talking about, Joey? You and Kaiba tragically killed each other. Grandpa and I couldn't save either of you. That's not what happened, Yugi. You? Mind crush! <laughs> good, Yugi, good. You're fulfilling your destiny. <laughs> Goku's having a heart attack. Uh... And the androids are going to kill us. <laughs> Someone help! Fear not, pathetic Earthling. They're not dealing with the average Saiyan warrior. They're dealing with a Super Saiyan! I thought you had to have a pure heart to become a Super Saiyan, like my dad! There's more than one way to reach the goal. I decided to train in the solitude of space. Then, the mother of all meteors came to claim my ship and my life. It took everything I had and more. To do what? To stop the meteor. It took everything you had to stop a rock? Normally, it would be child's play. But my body was weak from the training. 450 times Earth's gravity. You still do gravity training? Of course. How much do you weigh? A respectable 123 pounds. Okay. So it would have felt like you weighed 25 tons at that gravity. Impressive, right? It's as much as a large bus. A uh, bus? Yeah, like a big yellow school bus. If it was empty. I can see why Goku ditched the gravity training. Silence, fools! Who's the Super Saiyan around here? Uh, so what else happened? After the onslaught, something just snapped. Something inside of me. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about anything. And then it happened. Yes, that's how it happened. You know, Vegeta, this is very different from Goku's Super Saiyan story. That clown will forever be in my shadow. Uh, uh, Goku was fighting a genocidal space emperor on a doomed planet about to explode. And you... Punch some rocks. They were meteors. The fate of the universe hanging in the balance. Volcanoes erupting. The earth shaking. Well, I didn't mention this, but there was a giant electrical storm. It was like an outward manifestation of the very rage within me. That's... that's not really the same. As I said, there's more than one way to reach the goal. Yeah, the cool heroic way, or your way. Are you mocking me? Cut him some slack, Krillin. It was the mother of all asteroids. Hey, look, Gohan. It's the mother of all Senzu beams. If I punch this rock, do you think I'll become a Super Saiyan too? I didn't care about anything. Not even my receding hairline. There was a giant electrical storm, almost the size of my ego. I hate you, Kakarot. I love you, Kakarot. I hate you. You, Kakarot. I love you, Kakarot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good luck with the androids. <laughs> oh boy. 